Guardians and the White Sox. We've talked about this matchup the last couple of days. They'll close out this three-game series. And it's been all Cleveland, dollar thirty-two today. If you like the White Sox, plus one twenty-two. But it's hard to like the White Sox, oh, especially like- with their two best pitchers going the last two days and still getting beat. Not just beat, but beat down. Even though that extra inning game the other day with Dylan Cease, uh, bullpen blew that one for him. And the last night, non-competitive uh, with uh, with Lance Lynn. Seven is the total in this game. It's shaded towards the over, minus 120. Uh, today, you got Shane Bieber going against Johnny Cueto. The White Sox, they look like they're done to me, Dave. What do you think? I would agree. This is one where, to me, you don't even have to look at the numbers. Uh, the Guardians are beating everything in sight, and they are driving hard to clinch that division. We've seen the Twins. They're done. They don't care. Uh, and the White Sox, I think, after losing the first two in a series where they really had to win the first two with those two pitchers going, I'd be surprised if there's much left in that tank today. So this is one where I just threw away the stats because Johnny Cueto, quite frankly, statistically, you know, he pitches well enough to keep his team in games, and I don't know that I want to lay a dollar thirty on the road against Cueto, but everything else points to the Guardians. And I'll go with Cleveland. There's just no reason not to get off the, uh, not to to stay on the in, the uh, Indians, the Guardian, Guardians Express right now. And they're going to be a pain in the neck come playoff time, because they don't strike out. They've got a lot of speed. Uh, Francona is pushing all the right buttons this year. And I got to tell you something. Cleveland's going to be a, a handful in the playoffs. You mentioned Cueto. I mean, Cueto was a guy that he wasn't even on a roster. No one really wanted him. But then he pitched pretty well during the course of, you know, the beginning and the middle of the year. But two of his last four starts, he hasn't been good at all. He's given up 14 runs in his last four starts. So, and I don't think he has more than three strikeouts in in any of those games as well, too. His strikeout rate is really low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for me, yeah, Cleveland wants to go for the sweep here. Uh, in in this thing for the White Sox. And like I said, to, to me, it looks like they're just playing great ball. And I think the number now is they've won 13 out of their last 15. Hmm. Tremendous. Base winner, give us some numbers on this game. Yeah, I've got Bieber fever here. I, I don't see a reason why, why, why to overthink this game. I mean, if you look at Bieber, as far as the comparing him to pitchers on the card today, He's the best pitcher on the card. I have him fifth in baseball out of 150 pitchers, better than Woodruff, better than Gallon, better than Urias. And maybe that's controversial, but that's that's the way I rate the pitchers. And if you look at the base winner ERA for these guys, if first of all, let's take a look at the standard ERA, because maybe this is what the market's looking at. We've got Beaver at 2.83, pretty darn good. And then Cueto, 3.01. And you think, well, maybe Cueto is pretty good. And and. And then you've got the base winner ERA 3.07 for Bieber and then Cueto at 4.66. So a big difference there. You look at the other components of this game and Dave made a good point about Cleveland being tough, a potential tough out in the playoffs. And one thing that he didn't bring up, he brought up a lot of good points in his analysis was the Cleveland bullpen. And I have them rated second overall in my ratings. So they have definitely formidable butts there in the bullpen, definitely better than this White Sox bullpen, who I rated 22nd. And then if you look at offensively, I do have the White Sox a little bit better offensively, but not much. I've got the White Sox 14th in baseball, Cleveland 16th in baseball. And then we get a fielding advantage, too, with this Guardians team. So for all those reasons, I, I just don't think you over overthink this thing. You go with the, with the Guardians. Minus 135 is pretty affordable here. By the way, very quickly, Prior to the season, the White Sox bullpen was considered to be an absolute strength. Powerhouse bullpen. If they're ahead up to six innings, forget it. They are the shining example of why you don't, you don't, you buy low on bullpens and sell as high as you can. If you got a guy you can get value for in terms of a deal, make it. And, and to add to your point, base winner, uh, that the first game in the series, um, going back to what Tuesday night, the Cleveland bullpen won them that game because yep. they were able to shut down the White Sox. And after, you know, the White Sox had that early lead, the White Sox bullpen was 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 horrible. And Cleveland's pen, they answered the bell. Because what, Savali started that game? The bullpen came in and shut him down. So that was the reason. I want to add one more 
uh, thing about Cueto too, uh, for no, I mentioned about his, his strikeouts are down and everything. Uh, he has faced the Indian or the Indians, the guardians twice in the last month in he's faced him in 15 innings. He only has two strikeouts, <laughs> two strikeouts total in those two starts. They're going to put the ball in play. They're going to make contact. So you guys may have answered my question for me. This could be my parlay of that'd be a nice parlay of, of you know, Houston yeah. to Cleveland. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I think one. that's what that's what I'll probably do today, and then to to take off that juice and actually get plus money with that. If you guys endorse that, I think I'll do that. I endorse that's it. A good idea. Hundred percent. Yeah. Beaver fever. I, and I'll be saying that's all I'll be doing, Dave. I'll be saying be, Beaver fever here while I'm watching this game with base winner. Baby, 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 oh. <laughs> Don't get bass winners singing. You know, we can't get bass winners singing some of the old school tunes, but you know, some old school jams. But no, he'll he'll give us new kids in the block and a little Justin Bieber and stuff. I don't know like where I've become this boy band expert, but boy uh, band bass winner. There he is. <laughs> wow. Unruly. Brutal. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's lock uh, Dave and uh, bass winner in for this game, though. They're all about the Guardians in this one lane, uh, 132. And I'm going to jump in with them on that. I'm going to make it part of a parlay. With the Astros to Cleveland, that's going to be my official play on the show here today. So.